Some children have dyslexia. Other children have dyscalculia. Some children have both. I recently researched alleviation strategies for dyscalculia and found that there were three strategies which helped dyscalculic children the most. I now refer to these as the dyscalculia triangle and the three main strategies were using visual concrete materials as opposed to abstract approaches, especially if there's interaction and discussion. The second one was to use old-fashioned numeracy flashcard techniques which promote working memory and processing speed. And the third one was what I now refer to as being the numeracy map. The numeracy map being the simple grid of numbers from 1 to 10 down to 100. And the mapping techniques that really benefited the discalculate children to arrive at answers for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division sums. If children don't know the letters of their alphabet, they will not be able to read properly. It's my belief now that if children don't have enough of the numeracy map in their head, they will not be as good as they can be at numeracy. I've had so many positive feedbacks from teachers who use the numeracy map with children in their classroom. Phrases like light bulb moments, especially for tables or division. I've had feedbacks from parents who use the map at home with their children. One recently said, over a short space of time, my son has now appreciated the structure of number and he is improving markedly. My dyscalculia research now actually informs my mainstream talks for teachers, since I regularly use the numeracy map at all my talks. It is so beneficial and is one of the reasons why I decided there needed to be an app for the numeracy map in order to reach a much wider audience and to allow as many children to be more able to be better at their numeracy.